Okay, numbers in Korean, numbers. As I've mentioned, we have two systems, which is Sino Korean number system and another one is native Korean number system, right? So that's why I had to um, bring the topic about Sino Korean and native Korean so you can understand uh, that we have two systems in Korean, okay? So let's see here, numbers in Korean. We have Sino Korean and native Korean numbers. Sign Korean numbers are used for date, money, dresses, phone number, and time for minutes and seconds, and the numbers above 100. That's the uses of sign Korean numbers. And native Korean numbers, those are used for counting things or counting people, counting items. And ages, when you're talking about ages, you have to use native Korean numbers and time for hour and the numbers from 1 to 99. Uh, in the table, you can see, uh, as you can see, I have prepared numbers uh, from 0, zero to 10 in South Korea and native Korean. And 100, 1,000, 100, peg, ton, man, also in Sino Korean. All right, so let's see. From Sino Korean, young, gong, zero. Young, or also it can be uh, said, gong, young, or gong. Number one is il, two, e, three, chan. Four, ta, five, o, six, yu, seven, chil, and eight, pal, nine, ku, ten, ship. So it becomes from one to ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, In Sino Korean. That's how you read words in Sino Korean. It is shorter than native Korean numbers. Let's see native Korean numbers from 1 to 10. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Those are native Korean numbers. So basically, those uh, same Korean numbers and native Korean numbers are different, uh, they have different uses. So you have to learn both systems, right? It's not that complicated, all right? Um, I know that if you if it's your first time, you get you know scared, but it's it's not that difficult. It's uh, it's simple system actually. Since numbers above one hundred has to be re has to be uh, used uh, has to use Sino Korean numbers. So one hundred peg. 1,000, chan, man, or million, right? And Korean and native Korean numbers. That's um, the basically our Sino Korean and native Korean numbers. So we're gonna see some examples because it will be easier to understand, right? Examples of Sino Korean numbers. Um, let's see, the first one is, 7월, Iril. Chirwal Iril. Which means first of July. Oh, we have so many numbers. What are they? Our phone numbers, right? So it comes 010 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is uh, the number that you can see there, uh, which is phone number. Phone numbers has to use sign a Korean number. All right. That's why we're using only sign a Korean numbers. 1234567812345678678 right so um the next example here we have 100명 100명 and it means 100 people 100명 100명 if the number is over over 100 you have to use sino korean that's why we're here using sino korean which is peg for 100 all right let's see some sentences um, that which can be useful in a daily life which is 오늘은 9월 3일입니다 오늘은 9월 3일입니다 and it means today is September 3rd. We're talking about the date, right? So we're using 구, which is sign of Korean, number 9. And 3, which is uh, 3 of sign of Korean number. Right? 오늘은 9월, 9월 3일입니다. Another example. Um, A is asking, 얼마예요? How much is it? 얼마예요? Mm -hmm. And B says, 100원입니다. 100원입니다. It's 101. 100원입니다. All right. So, um, since we're talking about money, uh, you have to use sign a Korean number, which is 100. For 100, 100원입니다. All right. Um, let's see another example sentence. Um, A says, 서울역까지 얼마나 걸려요? How long does it take to Seoul Station? Mm -hmm. This one can be used um, saying when you're going to Korea, right? When you go to Korea, you can say, how long does it take to Seoul, Seoul Station? Some, 서울역까지 얼마나 걸려요? And B answers. 30분 걸려요. 30분 걸려요. Says it takes 30 minutes. 30분 걸려요. Since um, this one is talking about minutes, you have to use Sino Korean number to read. This uh, 30 minutes in Korean. 30분 걸려요. Alright. Okay. So, it was, uh, we were talking about sign of Korean numbers. So, let's see well, how, about, how about native Korean numbers. Native Korean numbers. 9살. 아홉 살. And it means nine years old. 아홉 살. Nine years old. Since we're talking about age, we have to use native Korean number to read this, uh, this number nine here, which is 아홉. 아홉. Mm -hmm. Native Korean number 아홉. All right. Uh, let's see another example. 다섯 명. 다섯 명. What does that mean? Five people. Five people. We are here counting, counting people, right? In that case, we have to use native Korean number since we are counting things. Mm -hmm. 다섯 명. 다섯 명. Uh -huh. 책 열권. 책 열권. What does that mean? It means 10 books. 10 books. Here we are counting again on things, which is books. 
So we have to use native Korean number. 열, 10, 열. So it becomes 책, 열 권. 책, 열 권. Right? And for the last example, 강아지 세 마리. 강아지 세 마리. Three dogs. Three dogs. Um, 강아지 means dogs. And uh, 세 마리 is three. Uh, when you're counting, you have to use native Korean number, right? Because um, so it comes 세 마리, not 산 마리. 산 is like a Korean number. 세 is a native Korean number. 강아지 세 마리. Right? Okay, so let's see some example sentences. Um, maybe you can go Korea and you can just, uh, you can go to a restaurant, you can say, Hi, 저기요. 맥주 두병 주세요. 맥주 두병 주세요. Two bottles of beer, please. Mm -hmm. Two bottles of beer, please. Um, 맥주. Is beer, two bell, two bottle, 주세요. Please uh, give me, please. Uh, so it becomes 맥주, 두 병, 주세요. 맥주, 두 병, 주세요. Since we are counting an item or items, uh, we have to use native Korean number in this case. Right? Okay, so the next sentence. 저는 여덟 살이에요. 저는 여덟 살이에요. I'm eight years old. I'm eight years old. So we're talking about the age here. So it comes native Korean number here. Mm -hmm. Right? And let's see another example sentence. 새가 여섯 마리 있어요. 새가 여섯 마리 있어요. There are six birds. 새가 여섯 마리 있어요. 새 means birds. Um, 있어요. There are 여섯 마리. Six birds. In this case, uh, same as 맥주 두 병. Uh, we are counting things. So we have to use native Korean numbers, which is 여섯 for six. 여섯 마리. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you are wondering what is 병 or 마리, um, those are counters for uh, that we have a lot in Korean uh, for each, uh, for so many things. For example, 병 is for bottles, uh, 마리 is for an animal. So we have so many uh, of counters also. It's a great topic to talk about later in another webinar. All right. So that's uh, how you use Sino Korean numbers and native Korean numbers. It's uh, just simple. You have to remember in which case uh, you have to use which one. That's, um, that's something that you have to remember, right?